obviously been quite a, a few days for you and you know your good friend and colleague uh, sacked him and you can then you have to take the team and you obviously got the result at uh, midweek. I mean, can you just sum up your sort of emotions over the last few days? Uh, to be honest, I haven't really had a chance to catch my breath. Um, but listen, the, the focus now is on tomorrow's game, and then um, we'll see where we are on Sunday. Sit down and relax. And you yourself obviously were asked to, to take charge of Wednesday and, and, and the game tomorrow. What has uh, Tony Askar and the said to you about your sort of role going forward? To be honest with you, that's it. That's the sum total of it. Um, if I could just help out and take obviously the game Wednesday and then the game tomorrow. And then as far as that's that that is I mean listen, I'm not being flippant here or I'm not avoiding the question, that is generally where we're at, so that's that's what it is. And there's obviously a recruitment process ongoing and mm-hmm. your name is, is one of the names in the frame, obviously. I mean, is this a job that you would like to take permanently? Well, I th- first of all I think it's pretty easy to put my name in the frame because I'm actually doing the job at the moment. So um the club will go through their process of, of all the I'm sure listen. It's a very, very good job. I'm sure there'll be some real, real high-level people and, and candidates for it, so it'll be up to them to, to pick the right, um, and hopefully pick the for the, to take the club forward. You saw that reaction uh, during the week, but I mean, you yourself, in terms of in training and in the dressing room and that sort of thing, you know, what is the sort of mood in the camp? Because it, it's obviously been a bit of a, a turbulent week. Yeah, it's not can only, um, from, from the result on, on Wednesday, Football players just love winning football games, so that's obviously given them a, a wee bit of a boost. They all feel a wee bit. I think everybody feels a wee bit better about themselves after after getting the result, and it's important that we, we now we now build on that um, for the game tomorrow, which listen, I've gone on record already and said it's going to be a really really difficult game, um, and the challenge is can we can we go and repeat that? How important is it that the you know the players now go on and, and take that positivity from that game and, and move on and put this whole sort of last few days and weeks behind them? Yeah, well that's the plan. But I think we also need to remember that we're, we're playing against a very good team. Um, we're playing against a very good manager who have his team set up. There's no divine right ever to win a game of football, so we need to make sure that attitude and application as it is what it was the other night and then if we do that and that hopefully leads to a good performance which hopefully leads to, to hopefully getting a, a positive result. Is it been hard to sort of focus the players given you know all the attention around the club this week and, and you know the differences that there are for them in terms of the management? I think that, uh, when you're involved in, uh, in football at this level the, the managers, coaches, people come and go so I think a lot of them have probably been through this process before. Um, I'm sure they've all been at clubs where managers have gone and left, or coaching staff have all gone and left. So um, the harsh reality of it is that we all know that it's going to happen. Um, all I can ask for tomorrow from them is that they get the same attitude and application. And, um, and that's all I can really ask for from them, to be totally honest with you. And, and how much of a kind of boost is it to, to the whole camp to put that run to a bed and get that win and kind of put in a great performance for that? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a positive step. Like I said, after the game the other night, it's a, it's a small step. Um, we need to go and reproduce the same kind of performance tomorrow, and if we do that, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get the right result. And in terms of tomorrow, you kind of spoke about expecting quite a tough game, but what are you actually expecting from Ellen Park? I'm expecting a very tough game. <laughs> yeah, we've got some really good players. Um, we've got a good, a good manager who's come in, and you can see the effect that he's had on the group. So. Listen, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but it's going to be a really tough game. And you made kind of a few personnel changes to the lineup for, for the game against Livingston. Mm-hmm. Can we expect a kind of similar thing at the weekend? Uh, the squad will be the same, and we'll see it half past two tomorrow who's playing. Who's playing. And just in terms of the squad, is there any kind of injuries ahead of the weekend? No, they're all clean. They're all they're all uh, clean bill of health, which is good. So a wee bit of consistency there. Um, so it's up to them now. First of all, it's obviously been a, quite a turbulent week for you as players. Um, can you just sort of sum up the emotions of this week for you as a player? Yeah, um, disappointing. Um, you know, it's never nice to have somebody lose their job, um, especially when you know us as players have got to take a lot of the responsibility. Um, considering it's us on the pitch and us that has to put on the performances. So um, you know, the mood was low going into. Um, the other night, because um, it's never nice, especially 
so early on in the season and um, and things. But you know, football moves fast, and, and it's still the same group of players. We've got to stick together and, and go again. And were you as a player surprised? And obviously, it's been a, a you know pretty bad result in recent weeks. But I mean, were you as players surprised that Jack Ross lost his job? Yeah, I think now football moves so fast, and managers, you know, you, you see them; they don't get as much time as as maybe they used to. And, um, it's a results-driven business, and um, you know the manner of the, of the way that we lost games was unacceptable. Um, so you're not, we weren't obviously we're obviously surprised and disappointed, but you know you know what football's like um, these days. Um, and as I say, it was more just a frustration and a disappointment on the players' part that the part we played in that. Um, but like I said, you know, we went into Wednesday night and. As a group got together and, and now we move on and hopefully uh, we've turned the corner. And you know, there's been some suggestion that you know the players maybe weren't responding to Jack Ross and maybe weren't taking on his his ways. And do you feel that's the case? Did you see any of that yourself, or you know, were the players right behind Jack Ross? No, 100%. The players were behind him. You know, I've worked with him before, and um, I know from previous uh, times that players really like him and really take to. His methods and his training, and, and it was no different here. Um, you know, something just didn't click um, over the past month. You know, you saw at the start of the season the the Alkmaar at home, and you know, took that into the killer game, and it was it was it was all positive. <coughs> but then we took quite a quite a dunt to our confidence in the the Alkmaar game away, and I don't think as a group of players we we recovered from that well enough. Um, and ultimately, you know, it's, it's the manager that paid the price for that. But at no point did, did any players say that they, they weren't happy with how things were going or, or the training or tactics or nothing like that. Um, we all bought into what he was trying to do. And, and unfortunately, for whatever reason, it, it just never worked. And, you know, can you put any reason as to, as to why you haven't got the results in recent weeks? And, you know, do the players take any sort of responsibility as well? Yeah, we've got to, you know, first of all, we've got to look at yourself individually and then collectively as a as a group. Um, the manner of football, like I said, is that the manager pays the price, but us as players, we're the ones on the pitch and, and we can make a big difference. Um, the manner that we've been beaten in, in weeks gone by, you know, everybody knows it, it's completely unacceptable. And there's not a lot the manager can do when, you know, we, we concede a number of goals and in a short space of time against Celtic or, or against Alkmaar, that's that's on us. Um, so, you know, we've we look to rectify that, we look to sort of get together and and see how as as a group of players we can can change that and I think, you know, our mentality and our our willingness not to concede goals that we had that we've had since I've been here, you know, it's been a big thing not conceding goals. Um, we've got to get back to that and, and build a foundation from there that can then take us forward. And we saw a reaction midweek um, in the game against Livingston. Obviously, Liam Fox in charge, and there's a recruitment process ongoing. But um, you know, him himself you know, as a name that is in the frame. Um, would you like to see him perhaps being given the chance to take on the role? Yeah, you know, Foxy's been here from um, Tam Coates's reign as as the manager, and was part of the success that we had last season. Um, and now he's got a chance to sort of put his own stamp on it. Um, and like you say, we, he got off to a positive start Wednesday and the boys will give give him everything. And um, if that means that we then pick up a few results and and ultimately leads to him taking the team forward, then, then that would be great. And I suppose this weekend is about, you know, um, making sure that that result against Livy counts and taking the momentum from that and going out against Motherwell and, you know, proving as players that that you can sort of move on and put it behind you. Yeah, we're well aware that that, that was the cup on Wednesday and, and we need to pick up points in the league now. It's not been, it's not been a good start and, and we find ourselves at the bottom of the table, which um, isn't acceptable at this football club. So Wednesday night can't be a one-off. It's got to be a given every week, that sort of intensity, work rate and pride to, to defend our goal as well and, and, not, and not lose goals. So um, like I say... We can't just have that as a one-off. It's got to be a given every week. And, and if we do that against Motherwell, then we give ourselves the best chance going forward that builds a foundation that we can then we can build on and we can start using the ball better and hopefully that then turns results. Thanks, Luke. Thanks.
Yeah, I think wins, you know, give confidence and, and we've not had that over the last month and as I say, I think when you lose heavily it does affect people but I think winning in, in the manner that we won, that we, we showed a fight and a character, I think it will it will give boys the, the boost and maybe a reminder that there is good players here but there's also players that can dig in and, and fight for, for results and, and that can only be a good thing going forward.